And ISIS has released another video. It claims most of the 21 men in the video are Kurdish soldiers fighting ISIS in northern Iraq. The video apparently shows them being paraded in cages. We don't know when it was taken and CNN cannot verify its authenticity. Now, this is not an execution video, but it is clearly meant to send a message. Let's get more on this now from CNN's Ben Wiedemann in Erbil in northern Iraq. And Ben, this is another heavily edited piece of propaganda. What can you tell us about it? Well, clearly the message, uh, Linda, is uh, what we heard from some of those 21 Kurdish fighters uh, themselves. And, of course, it's obviously a, me a message uh, made under duress, and that is a call uh, to other members of the Peshmerga, the Kurdish military force, uh, to lay down their arms unless they want to suffer the same fate as them. Now, uh, in this video, you see them first being walked in chains to their caves, uh, cages, excuse me, uh, then they're interviewed in the cages afterwards you see them on in those cages on the back of pickup trucks going through a crowded street uh, with hundreds of people seeming to je jeer them as they go uh, by now we believe this is in the town of Hawija which is south of Kirkuk where many of these soldiers uh, were captured during an ISIS attack in the end of January uh, now yes this is not an execution video but there are flash frames of pictures of the beheading of Egyptian Christians in Libya earlier last week. And the implication, of course, is that this may well be their fate. But at this point, uh, we have no indication that they have yet been executed in any shape or form. Linda? And Ben, you've been with the Kurdish Peshmerga on the front lines. How have they responded to this latest propaganda video? It must affect their morale as they continue to fight day after day. Well, significantly, it has not been shown on Kurdish media. Uh, obviously, people are hearing about it on the Internet. Uh, but uh, certainly what we're hearing from people around here is that they brush it off. This is the sort of thing, at this point, they're accustomed to. It enrages them. It angers them. Uh, but when we were on the front lines uh, the other day, and of course this was before this uh, video was posted on YouTube, uh, what we did see is morale was surprisingly high, given that it was cold, it was rainy, it was very muddy, uh, but they seemed to be in good spirits. And of course, uh, whatever the propaganda says, the reports from the front lines indicate something quite different. We understand overnight that in the Mahmur area to the south of here, uh, where on Tuesday night there was an assault on Kurdish front lines, there was another attack overnight, but that was repulsed uh, with the help of coalition airstrikes. And we saw pictures on Kurdish TV of many dead ISIS fighters, and we were being told uh, by Peshmerga forces among the dead are foreign fighters. So. ISIS can put out whatever propaganda it likes. The situation on the front lines is not, however, to their liking. Linda? Ben Wiedemann in Erbil, Iraq. It's always great to talk to you. Thank you.